Hello everyone. My name is Babita and I'm here with a very interesting topic, the bacterial growth curve. If you like my video, then please hit the like button. What is bacterial growth curve? A curve on a graph that shows the changes in the size of the bacterial population over time in a culture. The bacteria are cultured in sterile nutrient medium and incubated at the optimum temperature for growth. Samples are removed at intervals and the number of viable bacteria are counted. The bacterial growth curve have three phases. First, the lag phase. Second, the log phase, which is also termed as the exponential phase. Third, stationary phase. Fourth, death phase. The lag phase. During the lag phase, there is no increase in the cell number. It is a period of adaptation of the cell to a new environment. There is no change in number but an increase in mass. Thus, in this phase, the bacterial cells are dormant. The length of the lag phase is determined in parts by the characteristics of the bacterial species and in parts by condition in the media. The log phase. In this phase, cell number increases exponentially with time. The log phase is also known as exponential phase. During exponential growth, the rate of increase of cell in the culture is proportional to the number of cell present at any particular time. During exponential growth, the number of cells increases in the geometrical progression. After n division, the number of cells is 2n. The rate of exponential growth of the bacterial culture is expressed as generation time. The time interval required for the cell to divide is called generation time or the doubling time. The stationary phase. Exponential growth cannot be continued forever in a batch culture, for example, a closed system. In this phase, the cell growth rate has leveled off and become constant. The number of cells multiplied is equal to the number of cells dying. Population growth is limited by one of the three factors. First, exhaustion of the available nutrient. Second, accumulation of inhibitory metabolites or the end products. Third, lack of biological space. Death phase. If incubation continues after the population reaches the stationary phase, the death phase follows, in which the viable cell population declines. During the death phase, the number of viable cells decreases geometrically or exponentially, which essentially is the reverse of the growth during the log phase. Bacterial growth curve showing the three phases. Now we have the bacterial growth curve, which represents the four phases of bacterial growth. The very first phase is the lag phase. The lag phase is a flat period of adjustment, enlargement of the cell, and you know, before the binary fission, the cell needs to get enlarged, increase the volume before the division, and a very little growth is actually there. So this is a lag phase. And then there is a normal growth phase that is exponential growth phase. A period of maximum growth will continue as long as the cell have adequate nutrient and a favorable environment for their growth. Here we continue to supply the fresh nutrient to the bacteria or the culture, and that's what we do in some of the industrial production. Then there is a stationary phase. Rate of cell growth is equal to the rate of cell death, caused by the depleted nutrition and oxygen, excretion of organic acid and pollutants. So that's the reason for the depletion of the bacterial growth. Now the fourth phase is the death phase. As the limited factors intensify in the medium, cell will die exponentially. The way cells start growing exponentially in the presence of the fresh nutrient, the death phase is the time where the cells start dying exponentially because a lot of toxic waste start building up. Thanks for watching.